Okay, here's some really good news. These Dell computers are selling at a very reasonable price. Like, very reasonable. I want you to notice how quiet this thing is. Looky there. It's such a blessing. Okay. So, these old Dell computers, they're, I call them old, but they're not old. They're just, like, from the dinosaur age. Um, the price is great. You can get them for 150 bucks. This is a 745. And what happens is, see this grid here? Sucks dust in. And it fills up and overheats. And then you get a thermal event where the thing shuts down. And so you have to take off the disk drive, this, the, this DVD drive. This pulls up right here. You pull this thing up and snap it out. And then there's two screws inside. This is called a heat sink. Here's a fan, fan going in, heat sink. Heat sink's like car radiator. And there's two screws on either side, and you take that out, and you vacuum it out. I washed mine out twice. And then it'll run for... Oh, and you have to buy this Arctic Silver. This only costs seven bucks. But you buy the Arctic Silver. Can you see that? Arctic Silver um, Thermal Compound. And you squirt that on the between the CPU and the heatsink. The CPU gets real hot. <laughs> and you squirt that on, and it says it takes 200 hours to get used to the new thermal compound on it. But you get another thermal event because you didn't put enough on. And the fan clogs up. With dust. Well, it's easy because, you know, I'm a cleaning lady fanatic. And there's no amount of dusting and cleanliness you can do to keep the dust out. It's weird. So, and the fan is real noisy. It just runs at a high speed and sounds like a jet engine. It's terrible. I even tried, made this little diaper for it, and and I would put this piece of cloth right there over the fan and the force of the fan would hold it on there. And then when you turn the computer off, it falls off. But that didn't help keep the dust out. So I bought this little fan and that helped somewhat, but it was so loud. The whole, I mean, the fan... The auxiliary fan is quiet. <laughs> but anyway, so I read about the overheating Dells online. And you get lost in all the litigation about bad capacitors. Who knows what that's about. But, um... So th the problem is, you take the fan out to clean it, and look at this fan has four rubber feet, and if you take the feet, pull out, they're real stretchy rubber, and they go right on the other side of the fan. There's four holes on the other side of the fan, and you put it in backwards so that the heat blows out. Well, Lordy, believe me, when you do that, you notice that the wiring bundle fits exactly in the slot the way it was designed. This fan was designed to be blowing out not sucking in. And if you look inside the grid, you'll see the white label on the back of the fan. It's supposed to be visible through that grid. So you turn the fan around. Turn the fan around. It's easy. And get the Arctic Silver, put it on. And now with air blowing out, I don't use the auxiliary fan anymore. This blowing out, it's quiet. I live it I I'm in my small room here. 
that I insulated. See, I finished my insulation project. I have my raincoat hanging there. Here, John's man, Bill. My raincoat is to remind me of what Seattle used to be like. <laughs> but, but listen how quiet that is. And I mean, it's even working. Let's look. There's Sam Vacton. Vacnin. Here's my CPU usage. I got my task manager running. Task manager give you a CPU meter and show processor show processors from all users. Look at that. Oh, this is terrible. I wonder how people do this. Here's my HP Compaq that had a XP. Oh, I love XP. It's got the best spider solitaire on it. There's no spider solitaire like XP spider solitaire. But, um, let's say, what else? Oh, so the diaper, I don't have to use that. <laughs> Didn't work anyway. Um, show processors from all users. Can you see that CPU meter? Okay, let's run Sam back and we'll watch that CPU meter go. Oh. So anyway, here's your here's your task manager. So, I'm Sam Vaknin. Oh, Sam, Sam, he's on. Okay, this watch this. A series of ten videos about how to survive a relationship with a narcissist. See that CPU meter? Here, I'll put the pointer there. First, it's important to understand that there is right there about the body language eighty percent patterns of abusers oh, who are not narcissists and psychopaths. Not all abusers Quiet. suffer from a personality disorder. Listen to that. Regrettably, most victims oh. find themselves trapped. Okay, say goodbye, Sam. They have become aware of any meaningful warning signs. This guy's a genius. He's got 180 <laughs> IQ. This guy's a genius. He, he's an expert on narcissism because he's a genius. So, you know, you got to, like, give him credit. Oh, look at the price on that. Korean monitor at the thrift store. Thank you. Because they scratched it. So now I have a scratch. See there? That's always there. Oh well. Okay. So CPU meter and it don't matter. See when Sam's not talking it's low. But when Sam starts talking important to remember is that abuse is a multifaceted. See how that CPU meter it goes up? Cocktail of control freakery conforming to social and cultural norms. And it includes latent sadism. Oh, he is so, he's such a genius. I've listened to everything he's done. Okay, so that CPU meter, now it's down to like, you know, just a few little bit. What's, what? What? The iPad's going nuts. Jesus. Okay, Samsung. I like that monitor. So listen how quiet it is. Even when the CPU starts working, and look, warm air blowing out. Oh, oh, warm air. I'm saying, I live in this little room. This thing's an auxiliary heater. But it the fan doesn't run. Every once in a while, it'll, you know. No, I, I'm saying it's a miracle. These fans belong backwards. From where they, what they come from the factory. And you can read all the blogs, and you can read Dell Computers' official disclaimer, and all the, it, it's the, it's such a mess. I feel so sorry for Dell, because these computers are great. H huge memory, great s computing power, brand new operating system. This is a used, refurbished Dell for 145 bucks. Works great. Lots of USB ports. It's just a marvelous machine, you know. But taking off that heat sink and cleaning it out doesn't work. <laughs> it's not it's not a dust problem. It's not a capacitor problem. It's the damn fans installed backwards. I said damn. Oh look, there's a little green light inside. So in comments, if anybody knows what these flashing cup shaped lights mean let me know I can't find out they there's these cup things and sometimes more light up I want to know what it is but listen to how quiet that is 
You don't need to have a noisy Dell. Just easily take off the heat sink, get some Arctic Silver, take off the heat sink, off the CPU, clean it like the instructions say, put the Arctic Silver on, but turn that fan around and you'll see the wiring bundle fits right backwards. You know, when you take the rubber feet off, Turn the fan around in its housing, and I'd do it for you, but I'm tired of doing it. <laughs> See, they even got instructions on it, how to take it off, right on the top of the heat sink. But it's a marvelous machine. The price is right, and it works as an auxiliary heater. There's hot air coming out of there. It's wonderful. The fan's running. It's quiet, but you'll see that wiring bundle go in the slot right when you turn that fan around in the housing. The way it is comes from in the factory. The white label on the fan, you're supposed to see through the grid. You can't, that white label's supposed to face out. It's supposed to be blowing out. Do I, I sound kind of militant. I'm so passionate about having this Dell work. I mean, this has been a heartache. This thing's made me cry. <laughs> Because when XP went offline, it, you had to get a new computer. There was no getting around the XP thing last April. Last April. God, it's only been seven months. Okay, so hot air helps warm your room. Nice. Quiet. And when you turn the fan around in the housing, you'll see that wire bundle fits the right way now. It, it's tortured going in the way it comes from the factory, but boy, turn it around, take the rubber feet off, put them on the other side, put the fan back in the housing, and you'll see this wire bundle just goes right in this channel, a plastic channel from the factory. It was designed, it was designed right, and, and they just fuss and fight about why it got turned around backwards, but there it is, nice machine, fun to work with, and I keep the lid off now just because, here, I have the lid sitting on the wall. Dell! I could have got a Dell! So, um, I keep the lid off just for fun because I'm not, it scared me so bad, the overheated, the thermal event, it just shut your computer down. Boom! Like the world ended. <laughs> it's, it's bad. So I leave the lid off now and not a problem. You just vacuum it a little every other week <laughs> when you get around to it. Okay, say goodbye, Sam. Goodbye, Sam. There's a CPU meter. Okay. Bye, Sam. Thanks for... Oh, go Dell. Marvelous machine. Bye.